You won't find bodies at Titanic. Uh, you won't find skeletons. The bones actually dissolve into solution very rapidly at that depth. What anybody who's explored the wreck finds is pairs of shoes. One of the few tragedies that everyone everywhere is aware of is the sinking of the Titanic. Though the RMS Titanic went down on April 14th of 1912, the wreckage of the doomed ship was not discovered until 1985 off the coast of Newfoundland. While much of the ship had naturally perished after sitting for decades at sea, divers were still able to rescue and preserve a number of amazing and even terrifying items. Join us as we have a look at 15 terrifying things recovered from the Titanic. Number 1. Human Remains, Including Bones and Teeth During the recovery efforts after the sinking of the Titanic, many bodies were recovered from the ocean, but not all of them could be identified. Some of the remains were in such poor condition that identification was impossible, while others were never claimed by family members. Many of these unidentifiable remains were buried in cemeteries near the recovery sites, such as Halifax, Nova Scotia, where a number of victims would be buried in Fairview Lawn Cemetery. Some of those remains were sent back to their place of origin for burial, but still, many remains were never claimed and were buried in unmarked graves. The identification of the remains was a difficult task, and it was not always successful. In many cases, the remains were in a state of decomposition, and the identification was based on clothing, personal items, or other physical characteristics. In addition to the remains that were never identified, there were also cases of misidentification. Some remains would be misidentified due to confusion or lack of information, which would lead to families receiving the wrong remains or burying the wrong person. This caused further pain and suffering for the families who were already dealing with the loss of their loved ones. In recent years, advances in DNA technology has allowed for the identification of some of the remains of Titanic's victims. In 2007, the remains of two victims were exhumed from Fairview Lawn Cemetery in Halifax and were identified using DNA testing. It's a tragic fact that many of the victims of the Titanic disaster were never identified and their families never knew what happened to them. It serves as a reminder of the devastating loss of life that occurred on that fateful night. Number 2. An 18 Karat Gold Necklace on April the 15th of 2017, the Luxor Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas opened Titanic, the Artifact Exhibition, organized by Premier Exhibitions to commemorate the 105th anniversary of the Titanic sinking to its eternal icy home. Amongst the many items on display was a locket that was made out of 18 karat gold belonging to a passenger named Virginia Estelle McDowell Clark. Virginia and her husband Walter boarded the Titanic in order to return to their home in Los Angeles. They had spent their belated honeymoon in Europe and were eager to return home so that they could celebrate their son's second birthday with him. The Clarks were first-class passengers aboard the ship. According to Alexandria Klingelhofer, a curator for Premier Exhibitions, and had actually cut their honeymoon short in order to be able to return home. Virginia and Walter, like most of the other passengers, likely assumed that they were perfectly safe on this massive ocean liner and would be reunited with their son in no time. After all, the ship was advertised as completely unsinkable, and most passengers didn't question the claim before boarding. Unfortunately, Virginia was the only one of the Clarks to return home, and only because of her husband's sacrifice. Virginia was alone in her cabin when the ship collided with an iceberg in the northern Atlantic Ocean, and when she felt the impact, she went straight to Walter, who was in the lounge playing cards with some other men, apparently unfazed by the vibrations that he must have felt from the collision. When the couple realized what had occurred, they then rushed to the lifeboats, hoping that both of them would be able to make it to safety. Women and children were allowed to board the lifeboats before anyone else, as we all know from the film, and it was no different in real life. Virginia and Walter, just like Rose and Jack, were separated while he ensured that his wife was on the lifeboat and on her way to safety. They hoped to be reunited one day, but that simply never happened. Number 3. A Doll's Head A doll that survived the Titanic and was recovered from the seafloor 65 years later is up for auction once again, according to its current owner. 
Only the head of Eva Hart's favorite doll, which she had to leave behind in her berth when she fled the sinking ship, remains. Captain Abel Frederico Nogueras of the shipping company Argon Bell discovered the doll 41 years ago, 2,000 meters underwater, halfway across the Atlantic between Southampton, UK and New York City. And he kept it for the next 15 years until his death. Teresa Martin, a collector from the province of Hulva in Spain's far southwest, contacted Eva Hart and reached an agreement which allowed her to keep the doll. Eva died in 1996, never seeing her doll again, but content with the knowledge that she had been discovered. Eva had always made reference to the doll when interviewed about her ordeal on the Titanic and her survival after the luxury ocean liner sank on its maiden voyage before the doll was recovered. A sailor rescued this disturbing doll's head from the bottom of the Atlantic in 1977.